there are many ways to go green to save. The Polk County Clerk of Courts is offering Operation Greenlight, an opportunity to pay delinquent Polk County traffic tickets and criminal fines that have been sent to an outside collection agency without paying a 35 or 40 percent collection fee. Joining us in studio is Stacy Butterfield, Polk County Clerk of Courts, and Lyle Bullman, Criminal Division Director for the Clerk's Office. Thanks for joining us today. Thank, Thank you, you, Taylor. Stacy, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about Operation Greenlight. Absolutely. Operation Greenlight is a special one-time, one-time event where customers have an opportunity to pay outstanding overdue traffic fines and criminal fines that have been sent to outside collection agencies without having to pay the collection fee. That collection fee ranges between 35 and 45 percent. And once they have paid their fines and fees in full, they will have an opportunity to have their driver's license reinstated on site that day if it's applicable. This seems like a pretty unique idea, as you said, one time only. You one time. Tell us why the clerk's office is doing this. You know, we have a number of cases that are overdue, and we have to send those cases to an outside collection agency, and these cases, the individuals have had their license suspended because of lack of payment. And our intent is to lessen the burden on these individuals and provide them with this unique one-time opportunity to get caught up and be able to have their driver's license reinstated. Um, there's an opportunity here for them to have a savings um, of that specific um, collection agency fee. And we hope um, that people will take advantage of it. Again, it's a one-time opportunity. But let me give you an example. If someone had a speeding ticket and it was around $206, that would be speeding 10 to 15 miles over the speed limit. And they didn't pay it, it goes through the process, and we turn it over to an outside collection agency, there would be a fee added on of approximately $72 in addition to the $206. So now $206 is turned into $270, $80 that they have to pay. So on this day only, on our Operation Greenlight, they can avoid having to pay that additional $72. And it's not just one day this year, it's one day a one-time opportunity forever, is that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. This is not a once-a-year event. This is a, I'm almost going to say once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> opportunity. I mean, that might stretch it, but absolutely, this is a unique opportunity that uh, there's not a plan to repeat it. All right, Lyle, we'll bounce over to you now. Will you walk us through the logistics of the event, date, time, location, how can someone pay, what forms of payment do we accept? Sure, be more than happy to. As Stacy just stated uh, a couple times, this is a one-day event only, and uh, Operation Greenlight is a one-day event, and it is Saturday, April the 18th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., okay? And customers can come and into our offices. We'll have two uh, convenient locations. Our Lakeland offices will be open, and the address for the Lakeland office is 930 East Parker Street, Lakeland, and also our Northeast office or our Winter Haven office will be open and the address there is 3425 Lake Alfred Road, Winter Haven. And uh, also customers can pay by phone by calling 863-534-5864. Again, that number to pay by phone is 863-534-5864. Now, can, if they need to have their driver's license reinstated, can they do that over the phone as well? Yes, they can. Okay. There is a process wow, to work wonderful. completely through that process. Uh, they'll be able to handle that. Um, need to keep in mind this, this is a pay in full event. Uh, this process is to pay in full, no partial payments. And we accept uh, cash, money orders, checks, credit cards. If someone does uh, pay by credit card, there's a 3.5% processing fee that will be applied to the payment. Another thing to note that late fees or delinquent fees and reinstatement fees will not be waived. That's not part of what's being waived here. Only the outside collection agency uh, fee is being waived. But we're required by law to still apply these fees. 
Fines must also be paid in the county where you receive the fine. As Stacy stated, this is a statewide initiative, Operation Greenlight, and there are more than 60 clerks of courts participating in this initiative. So if you received a fine in a, another county, uh, you would need to contact the clerk of court in the county you received the fine in to see if that clerk is participating in this initiative. And with that, many even though it's statewide, not all offices are going to be open from the same exact time, so it's important to check their office hours, whether you can pay by phone or in person, right? Absolutely. It's, it's up to the uh, individual clerks to decide what hours they'll be open okay. that day if they are open, and most are because there's over 60 uh, participating. Which is pretty good percentage, 67 clerks in Florida and more than 60 of them right. are participating, so no, we're likely. excited. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, now you're open on a Saturday, which we all know how busy the work week has become and many customers just may be excited about the opportunity to knock out some of their to-do items on their list. Are you, do, do you, are you offering any other services that Saturday or can you pay any other fines even if they're not outstanding? Yeah, we'll be we will be taking payments on all fines that day. Uh, however, we will not be open for other services such as uh, recording of official records or processing any court-related documents or paperwork. Uh, we'll accept payments in full, again, that's important to stress, payments in full on all fines uh, during that day, Operation Greenlight. Okay. Um, if your fine is not late, now this initiative is really to attack and pay uh, delinquent fines, but if your fine is not late, you can still pay online by going to www.polkcountyclerk.net. You can Wonderful. still pay online if your fine is not late. Okay. Uh, also on that date, and Stacy is going to talk about that, uh, we'll be uh, processing uh, passport services on that day at both locations, Lakeland and Northeast branches. Passports. I could certainly use a vacation, so um, <laughs> let's toss over and talk about the passport services that are available that day now. Now that everyone's gearing up for summer travel, I'm sure that they um, are ready to check that off their to-do list as well. Yes, Taylor. Um, we know that a lot of people can't make it to our office during the week from Monday to Friday when we offer passport um, application services. So we have an initiative this year where we had two Saturdays that were open. One is passed, it was in February, and then another one is on April 18th, the same day as our Operation Greenlight. So we'll have a separate line at each of our branch locations during the event that will be dedicated solely to those individuals coming in seeking a passport application. Um, we have instant passport photos available that day. They're $10 each. Every applicant that's applying for a passport has to apply in person. And if you're trying to obtain a passport for a minor, we would suggest that you call our office or look on our website to find out the particular information that's needed to obtain that passport for a minor. Um, so we are excited about that also. We expect to be able to process those customers in a very efficient manner because again, we will separate the line so that you don't have to wait in line if you have people ahead of you that are trying to pay on Operation Greenlight. That'll be a big time, sa time sure. saver. Um, now, how much does a passport cost and how quickly will people get them? Um, a couple of things um, you need to know. For an adult, it costs about $135 and $80 for a child. Normally, um, the passport agency processes them and has this back within four to six weeks. There is an expedited process and it is uh, available for an additional fee. And we have a detailed cost sheet available in um, our office or on our website or you can call us. You'll need to have proof of citizenship and a photo ID. And you can visit our website, the same website that Lyle mentioned a, min a moment ago, polkcountyclerk.net, for full details and examples of the documents that you need to bring. Wonderful. Sir, are there any other details we should know about Operation Greenlight or this passport combination passport day that might be useful to the community? Um, we hope to see you out that day, whether you need a passport or whether you have some fines that you want to pay. We're open um, and we expect to be able to process anyone that comes to our door in an efficient manner that day. Stacey and Lyle, thank you for joining us today to talk about the one-time event of Operation Greenlight. Well, thank, thank you for you. having us today, I appreciate Taylor. it very much.
Polk County Clerk of Courts, Stacy Butterfield, is putting the brakes on collection fees for one day only during Operation Greenlight from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday, April 18th. Customers have the opportunity to pay delinquent Polk County traffic tickets and criminal fines that have been sent to an outside collection agency without paying the 35 or 40 percent fee. Once the fine is paid in full, customers can also have their driver's license reinstated on site if applicable. Customers can pay by phone, 863-534-5864, or in person at our two convenient locations, the Lakeland office located at 930 East Parker Street, or the Northeast office located at 3425 Lake Alfred Road in Winter Haven. In addition to Operation Greenlight, the Polk County Clerk's Lakeland and Northeast offices are also open for passport services on Saturday, April 18th, as previously scheduled.